Hey, hi everyone. In this video, we will learn how to connect XNS broker with co charting and do one click trading. Okay. So before connecting, make sure that you have selected a symbol which belongs to XNS. So for example, if you see XAUSD here, so we have these multiple symbols for XAUSD which belongs to different brokers like Wanda, Paperstone, UK, XNS, right? So suppose you have an account in Wanda. So when you connect Wanda with Go charting, and then you have to select this Wanda symbol. Okay. So similarly, since we are connecting XNS, so we have to select this XNS symbol over here. So after selecting that, now let's go to broker. And here you will see, you can go to either app store and here you will see that crypto and Forex broker and we have this XNS. Okay. So now here we have to fill the account ID, password, okay? And then you can fill either server IP and port or you can simply fill the server name. Now for XNS, we have different types of accounts as well. That is pro and zero, standard send, standard account, raw spread. So we'll see all these things. So now let's try to understand how to get these details and connect, right? So now here, if you see, this is the my XNS account. If you click on my accounts, you will get these options like real and demo. If you have archived any account, you will see archived over here. Okay. So now I'll create a demo account for you. So we'll click on open account. Okay. Now, uh, did you notice that here we have seen these kind of options like pro account and zero account, standard account, standard sent account and draw spread account. So you will get these options here. Okay. So we'll go and simply create one standard account. So click on continue. So this will be the demo account, right? And uh, after that, you can set the starting balance, standard name and everything. You can give uh, uh, the trading password as well. Okay. So let me give my trading password. So now I'll just put on create account. Now we can see that there is a reactivated demo account here. Okay. Now, if you want to know the details of this, you can simply see here, it is uh, given below, or you can simply click on these three buttons and you can click on this account information. So here also you will get the account information. Now let's try to put this information in go charting. So this is MT5 login. So I'll put the account ID here. Then we have this server name. So I'll put this server name over here. Okay. And then I'll put my password. After this, we, uh, we have to select this standard account because we have selected the standard account. Click on I agree, select the MT5 and click on connect, right? So I can save this password. Now this is connecting. And now the broker is connected. So XNS is now connected with Go charting. Again, as I have said, you have to select the symbol which belongs to XNS. After this, now uh, let's try to place some orders. So let's understand how we can place orders, guys. So we have multiple ways of placing order. Okay. So either you can select this buy or sell button. You can simply select sell or buy. Now from this window, you can place limit buy or limit sell order. From here, you can also place the market buy order. You can place the stop order and the stop limit order. Okay. So now let's try to look at this window. Here you can put this limit price. Then you can also put the take profit and stop loss. That could be based on the ticks, offset, or uh, you know percentage. Okay. So for example, uh, I'm just uh, putting it based on offset. Okay. And let's try to put it as 30. And here also 30. Okay, and I'm just giving a market order. Okay, so just put this. And now you can see the market order has gone. I have, uh, you know, this uh, uh, target price of 30 points and limit uh, stop loss of 30 points. Now I can also simply drag it and modify it. Okay, so now if I want to close the order, I can click on this cross button. Okay, and this order is closed. Okay. We can also place the order with the help of our cursor. So you can see there's a plus button over here. So this plus button helps us to uh, select the price. So for example, if I click on this, I can, you know, buy limit at this price and this trading window comes, click on this. Now here I have this limit buy price and also I can change this target price and stop price. Okay. So I can simply modify this. 
After this, now let's try to understand what are the trading settings and how we can actually put these things uh, in the settings. Okay. So for that, you have to go to setting and here you have this trading setting option. Now, this option is very important, which is called quick trade mode. Okay. So what quick trade mode does guys, when you are trying to uh, place a trade, say for example, when we try to place a limit order over here, what happened? We saw this buy and sell window coming and then we place the order. But here, since we have made it on, the quick trade is on, you can simply click on this uh, plus button and click on the buy. And now you see the order has gone. Okay. Now this time the trading window has not appeared. Okay. So let me show you again the same thing. So I'm switching it off. Now I'm placing, uh, placing this buy order. Okay. So now this trading window is coming. Okay. So uh, you can do the quick trade mode as well. Now here you have option to select the SL spread and target price spread. Okay. So you can predefine your SL and target price spread over here. So for example, I'm keeping it as 50 and 100. Okay. And now let me uh, make this quick trade mode on and then let's try to place this order by limit. Now you see the target price is 100 points above the limit price and SL is 50 points below the uh, limit price. Okay. Now you can also do the uh, direct uh, market uh, trading, which is called one click trading. So here, let me just delete this uh, order. And then now let's let me try to buy directly on the market price. Okay, so from this one click button, I can simply go and press the buy button. So once I press the buy button, the target price and the uh, stop price are already coming. Okay, automatically coming. So we can also again modify these orders. Okay, then we also have an interesting feature. Suppose you have bought this and suppose we are going for a market order. But this time we are not having the take profit and stop loss and we have simply bought this. Okay. So now you can see that the order is placed and the position is running. Okay. So here you can see that the profit and loss is running. Now, if you want to place stop loss and target order after, uh, you know, the you, you have entered the position. So you can see this TP and SL option here. So you can simply drag this. So now your SL is placed over here and you can simply drag this TP and your target price is also placed. Okay. So this is a very interesting feature. You can also use this feature if you are entered into a position. Thank you guys.